Hello everyone and welcome to Challenging Luck, where we challenge luck. Uh, today we will be looking at the last boarding pass problem. Some of you might have heard of it, some of you might have not, but it's a fun problem that I thought I would solve here in the channel. So what we'll do here, first we will explain what the problem is and then I'll write a simulation in Python to try and answer this problem. The problem goes like this. An airplane has 100 seats and 100 people are lined up to enter the airplane. The first person that goes in has lost their boarding pass, so they just choose a seat at random. Every other person that goes in after them will A, sit at their own seat if their seat is open, or if the seat is taken, they will choose a seat at random. So the question is this, what is the probability that the last person that goes in the airplane gets to sit in their assigned seat? So after 99 people have gone in, what is the probability that the 100th person gets to sit in their own seat? If you want to think about the answer for a little bit, feel free to pause the video and think about it. I couldn't find the answer the first time I looked at it, at least not without doing the simulation. So the answer turned out to be 50%. And in the next part of the video, I will do a simulation showing you that it is actually very close to 50%. Okay, I'm hoping that you liked that little animation that we just did. Now we're going to go in and do the simulation. The reason why I'm doing the simulation is because when it comes to answering questions about probability, one of the ways of pro uh, not proving but approximating the probability of something is simply repeating that event hundreds or thousands of times and seeing what outcomes you get. So for this one, I wrote out the assumptions just so they would help me code. Uh, I said that the airplane has 100 seats and 100 passengers are lined up to enter the airplane. The first person has lost their boarding pass and they choose a seat at random. Every other person either sits in their own seat if it's open or they will choose another seat at random again if their seat is taken. And we're trying to answer as to what the probability is that the last person gets to sit in their own seat or what's the probability when the last person goes in their assigned seat will be open. And while coding this, keep in mind that just for ease of coding and posting this, I made person one to sit in seat one, person two to sit in seat two, and so on and so forth. I also imported the library called random because we'll be using it when choosing seats. So first I started with an empty dictionary called seat assignment. And the key values for this dictionary would be one through 100. So for seat in range one through 101, because this is Python, seat assignment for that particular seat is gonna be free. So all seats start off as free. So now let's just do a print seat assignment, save it. Let's go ahead and run it. So as you can see, all the seats are assigned as free. Let's just push this around a little bit. So it's easier to read. Uh, maybe not. Here we go, close enough. So as you can see, all seats are assigned as free. So again, we continue with the problem. The first person, as we said, let's delete this statement. The first person, as we said, chooses the seat at random. So let's say seat that first person takes. And here we use the random library and we choose a random integer between one and 100. So that is gonna be the seat that the first person takes and the seat assignment for that particular seat now becomes taken. So let's call it occupied. And we'll also keep track of the seats that are already taken because when it comes to choosing a seat at random, later we're gonna need this. So list of seats already taken. Perfect. So let's print this. Let's print the seat assignment and let's print the seat that the first person takes. Oops. Yeah, that's what happens when you try to do things fast. So as we see, they chose seat 74 and seat 74 shows as occupied. So all is going well so far. So now we do this for every other passenger. So 
for passenger in range and here we want to do it from the second one to the last one and we say if seat assignment for that particular passenger is open so or is free rather then we want that seat assignment for that passenger to now be taken so occupied and we want to add that to the list of seats that are already taken perfect and if their seat is not free which means occupied we want to call a function called which we can call find random seat perfect we don't have to pass anything to this we could write it so that we have to pass something but it should be easier so we define the function and here we will choose a seat and the seat that we're gonna use choice um, and here is gonna be let's call it I for I in range 1 to 101 if i is not in list of seats already taken so what this will do is that it will choose a seat between 1 and 100 if this number is not in the list of seats that are already taken so the seat assignment now for that particular seat is occupied and we add it to the list of seats already taken perfect so now let's try running this and we will see what happens. At the end, let's print the list of seats already taken and let's print the seat assignment. So the list of seats already taken will show us the order that the seats were taken. So was seat one or two taken first all the way to the end. What we care about is to see if seat 100 is taken last or not. So. Let's go to the terminal. I opened this on accident, so we'll just exit out of it. Um, let's go to YouTube. Perfect. So as you can see, all the seats are now occupied. So our program is working as it's supposed to. And we can see the way that the list of seats already taken is printed. So the first person that went in, they chose seat 93. So all the way to seat 93, people will sit at their own seat and at seat 93, they chose seat 99, seat 99 chose seat one and person 100 sat at seat 100. So in this case, the last person got to sit in their own seat. So now in order to actually guess the probability of this, we would have to repeat this event hundreds or even thousands of times. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a variable called number of repetitions, just so we can change it quickly. If, so we're going to create a variable called number of repetitions here and I'm going to make this to be 2000 and number of successful events is going to start at zero and this is going to count how many times the last seat that is added is seat 100. That means that no one but the last person got to sit in seat 100. So now let's just write a for loop for i in range start from zero to number of repetitions and we want to repeat all of these here so just quick tab here and we want to count the number of successful events and the number of successful events is going to be like this if the last seed that is added if the last seed that is added equals 100 then number of successful events is going to be able to number of successful events plus one all right perfect 
So now let's print these two. This will be for only the last one. And we will also print what the probability is. So let's say probability. Last person. And let's add this. So this will be number of successful events divided by number of repetitions. Perfect. All right, let's run this now and let's see what happens. Hopefully it will be quick. Perfect. So as you can see, the probability turned out to be very, very close to 50%. And this is the scenario, the last scenario that happened and the person didn't get to sit in their own seat. So let's go in a little bit of explanation why that is happening. Why the probability is 50%. I'd first like to go and understand what options does the last person that goes in the plane really have? And the answer is quite simple. They only have two options. They can either sit in seat one or seat 100. You would say, why is, wh why is that? Why does that happen? Well, if seat one gets taken before the last person goes in, it means that everyone else gets to sit in their own seat, however many people are left. And if seat 100 gets taken at that point, then the only seat that will be open is seat one because everyone else will get to sit in their own seat, but the last person. And in order to prove that, I'll do something quite simple. We'll count the number of times that the last person sits in seat one. And let's see how many times that is. I will just copy this. Oops. Yeah, just copy this and let's say if this is one, then we'll add it to the number of successful events and we'll change this to probability that the last person gets to sit in their seat or in seat one. Let's save it and let's run it and this should be one. So the probability is one, so the chances that they'll either sit in seat one or 100 are, it happens 100% of the time. So let's see now, now that we know that they either get to sit in seat one or 100, let's see why the probability is 50% and it's not something less. So let's say when the first person goes in, he has three choices. He can sit in one of the middle seats, he can sit in seat one, or he can sit in seat 100. Now, the only two choices that affect our outcome here, the outcome being that the last person gets to sit in their own seat, is if person one chooses to sit in their own seat, seat one, or in seat 100. And now, the reason why this, outcome, this affects the outcome is because if the first person sits in seat one, then the last person will, of course, sit in their own seat. But if this person sits in seat 100, then they will not, the last person will not get to sit in their own seat. So they have the same probability to be chosen, right? One out of 100. So, so far you can understand why the probabilities for those two seats that affect the outcome are equal. But that same logic goes if the first person chooses another seat. So in this case, the first person chose seat 32. And if we go to seat 32, seat 32 had the choice between choosing one of those middle seats or the first seat or the last seat. But again, he chose one of those middle seats, passing the eventual choice to someone else. And in this case, to person 80, Person 80 chose seat 91, seat 91 chose seat 97, and seat 97 chose to sit in seat 100. So if you look at the choices that they have, here the probability is still the same, that they would choose between seat 1 and seat 100. So those are the only two seats that affect the outcome of what we're trying to prove here. And they chose to sit in seat 100. And that's why the last person did not get to sit in their own seat in this scenario, but they sat in seat one. So basically throughout the whole time, the chances that a person whose seat is taken or the first person that goes in that starts this whole mess will choose between seats one and 100 are the same. And that being the same, it means that the probability that the last person will get to sit in their own seat is actually 50% because only those two outcomes, only if one of them is taken, means that the last person will be affected. Let's say like if seat one is taken, then person 100 sits in their own seat. But if seat 100 is taken, they will sit in seat one. And as we proved here, 100% of the time, they will either sit in seat one or seat 100. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next video will be about a die game that you can play in a bar and win every time. And I hope you'll enjoy that as well. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.